have no other than Clayco. Look at him coming in the last minute. Oh, look, you're getting up. Maggie, you need to change your nick. I want to know your name. Also, get some rolls. Come on. I spent so much time setting up things. You don't even use it? <laughs> Javier. Is it pronounced correctly? Javier? Javier. 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 Okay, Javier. I'm actually just going to tell you what you need to get rid of, bro. Bro, come on, man. If you're not going to improve the lighting, you need to get rid of it. Okay? We agree on that? Go away! Yeah! Uh, if you're not going to fix the lighting here, go away. If you're not going to fix the lighting here, go away. That's about it. But out of curiosity, we're going to go and have a look anyway. Three years ago. Go away. Five years ago. Dude, go away. Delete, delete, delete. Don't delete them, but the unarchive them. Oh, you had so much potential here, bro. Bro, the lighting could have been so... Mm. I see all the light sources. Oh, I see it. Did you do it? Um, that's cool though. But you can get rid of this one too. Do you don't need to keep all of these old pieces? What's, why? Why are you doing it? Well, that's a lot of ghost shit going in this room. Who the hell lives here? It's a robot. There's a screen. There's a tablet. There's another screen. There's a ketchup. Whatever. Then there's clothes. There is food. And oh, I'm hungry. And yeah, that's oh look that someone forgot to, someone's going to work and forgot to take whatever. And there's what temperature is it? 20, 35 to twenty seven and two hundred this food been cooking for two hundred what twelve minutes, twelve hours? I don't know what it is. Too much. We don't need that. Uh but uh, you could improve the lighting here for sure. A little more brighter hair. Wouldn't hurt. Mr. BB Blue 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 BBP8. Probably could have some fun with that too. Um, yeah. Probably can improve it rather than remove it. My advice to you, Javier, it says 3D environment artist. So my advice is to make sure you keep making new pieces that are up to date and remove the old pieces. Okay. See, you're doing something that has a Star Trek reference to it. So I'm going to ask you, did you even look up Star Trek references? And if you did, when you were doing the lighting, did you even consider the references? for the Star Trek Enterprise lighting because my friend you bet me from that and if you didn't it's not because you couldn't find the images is that from the Bro, bro, it's not white light, it's warm light, bro, 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 this is not white, this is quite warm actually, I will redo this one, do you, do you still have this one, or no, if you just change the lighting it would even look much better, look at that, it's super bright, <laughs> everyone is like, with his hands on the side, Ready to dance. Say hey, 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 hey. Cool, man. I mean, obviously, you know modeling, but I would definitely improve your, consider improving your lighting to present your work. Because that's what I noticed. The first thing I noticed is, 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 the, is that the image is flat. And when the image is flat, your work isn't presented as well. Does that make sense? 
That's why I tell students who are doing 3D modeling and 3D environment. You want to stand out, it's, you're going to go a long way if you're doing lighting because it presents your work so much better. I remember this one, actually. Why do I remember this one? Well, I've known you for a while, so probably why. Do, do, I like it, though. I mean, this is... These are two different things. Like this is a um, kind of overcasty, I suppose. But this is better. It's good. I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm also very tired, so I'm not picking you, picking on you too much. There's one thing though. This type of shadow. We're gonna teach you that next time. Not too tired to teach you guys shadow, and what this means, but. You want to make this brighter anyway. It's still a bit flat considering the time of day, the direction of the light you can see on the sky, and the shadow length. You know, you want to brighten this up a bit. Where's your other work though? You can't believe you you got a that this obviously an improvement. I look at that. Your sky is overblown. Too dark. Too dark. Gotta let the light go in. I mean, this is still outside. So it shouldn't be this dark, yeah? You understand? Oh my god. The level of exhaustion. Can I just... I think I can get away with just a simple exposure increase. No, you know, so that's that's why I said bright sky because I kind of knew already I couldn't do this, but it should be this brightness, but not necessarily outside, okay? But it should be like this kind of bright. I'm not going to go in and start tweaking with the mask and everything, but you want to have some level of brightness to it. Okay, do you see how clear and do you see how nice everything starts looking when you when you guys kind of push the brightness a little bit look at this this is quite flat yeah again it's a huge difference see that i could just go in and draw again if you want me to want me to i'll do it i'll do it God damn it. See? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you can also do a little bit here. Because obviously if you make the shadows darker, what you're gonna do? What you're gonna do if you make the shadows brighter? You gotta make everything else brighter as well. That's right, that's right. Ten points to ever anyone who thought about that one. Good job. So happy someone thought about that. So this is, I would imagine this is the focal point, right? Also for the record, <laughs> but you see the point, right? Before I go away, right? This should be in your brains by now. That light over there, bro, bro, come on. This light, this light over there, that. What kind of light do you have? What kind of light have you been watching, huh? Please tell me. <laughs> I'm so tired of messing with you guys as well. Um, you would not see. Um, so, an environment, and I teach that in the course as well, which is why we, you guys really need to start jumping into this course. I kid you not. So, there's something called EV, which is how light works. I'm going to give you some free tips. I swear to you, if you go through the course, or even especially the mentorship, you're going to kick ass by the time I'm done with you. I can definitely teach all of you. Uh, I'm so tired, I can't even find, remember what I was looking for. Uh, exposure level, uh, light. Uh, EV curve. EV chart. 
do this actually every day. I'm gonna use my default one if I find it. I don't find it. Okay, we will maybe I got, give you guys a visual example. Okay, here's a crash course. In my room, okay, you guys paying attention? This is complicated. You guys paying attention? Huh? Huh? You guys paying attention? I don't see you guys paying attention. Pay attention. You guys paying attention? I don't see you guys paying attention. Are you, are you liking? Are you subscribing? Are you enjoying this? You better pay attention. So, exposure. People doing photography knows this pretty well. But even 2D artists need to know this pretty well. In my room, if I go back and turn off the light, which I'll do, it should have uh, it should have gotten darker, right? Let me see how I look. But it's darker. Actually, it's, I always like this lighting better because I don't like the top light, right? Um, who said no? You're not you're not paying attention. Get the fuck out of here. Um, and then I have a light on the right side. Okay. Pay attention. Should be darker, right? So this light you see is is from the outside, right? It's uh, that's the exterior light from the window without any fake light that this is the light obviously you have the light from the screen as well but you can see from here that it's coming from the outside now for any with a strong eye you can see I have warm light coming here but this warm light see it goes away it's very hard to see. So this warm light, what happens is this warm light comes from the fact that each environment has a certain level of EV, and EV, each EV decides if it's normal exposure, overexposure, underexposure, bright light or dim light or dark light. Certain light sources are not going to show up if the outside light is very bright. So when you have an image like this during daytime, we try and decide which one is brighter and darker. So which, what that means is you need to have exterior light, daytime. So what tends to be bright is the emissive part. Right? You can see it. this one is pretty bright during dark. This one is almost equally bright, if not brighter than when it's dark. Okay. This one. See this is an underexposed image. We can see that okay, it's bright there, and then there's a little bit of brightness there. But generally speaking, this amount of light and all the lights, you don't need to overdo it too much and make it too much visible. Because in reality, if you take a flashlight and you go outside in daylight, you're not gonna see anything from the flashlight. But the darker it gets, the more you see of the flashlight itself. Okay, that's the point there. So don't have like a full daylight and then you have like a super bright light that wouldn't normally happen okay you can see this was in the shadows so it's different but that's this one is out in the open and then it is super bright that's you feel free to dim it a little bit so it's not like all over the place okay make sense because otherwise the eyes the eye is going there a little bit you know it's going okay what's going on over there why it's so bright and if it's so bright you would expect more light which you wouldn't necessarily see all the time but in this case you know you can make the decision on your own but yeah makes sense boom 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 okay sure oh i can't look at you man you gotta come on the stream if you want to talk to me uh why are you watching private um okay cool happy that made no sense great good for you Dome light. That's cool, man. Hair as well. Don't be afraid to light it a bit more. 
Look at that. These stand out so much, it breaks the illusion. You see that? And it's even glowing. Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. I have another student like you, actually. He also does this all the time. I have to tell him to. But he works in a virtual new studio as well, so I have to be a bit more picky. This light, this close, this bright, this side should be much brighter. Same here as well. It's a bit overkill for my taste. I like this. Is this cool? Don't, again, don't be afraid to make it a bit brighter. This is cool. I stir eye. I don't know what's going on here, but that is super bright when you have the light right next to it. Interesting color, so that green bounce like going on here. What's, what's up with that? Cool, but you get the point. Always room for improvement. Hmm, I would have pushed more orange. Also, I see your fog coming in, which you know that's the problem with unreal fog, it's not really that good to be fair but we want to have some control of your lighting and control of the fog. You can do that by adding extra light with no shadow and turn off all the fog for the other lights and kind of fake it. So you have the angle of the light suggests sunset and sunrise. You know that, right? So this one is a bit, to give the sense a bit warmer, but this one is a bit colder wow. again. And when you look outside, it doesn't match the angle of the light. And how do we know that? Well, you can see that from the environment. You can see that there's a, something outside there. And then you can see the window, and you can see the length of the shadow and the direction of the shadow. This would be more towards a warmer look for it. Unless you would try really hard to copy some of the stuff, right? Overall, it's, it's all right. I mean, I would have gone for a war, warmer tone, generally speaking. All of you need to work a little bit on your color harmony. And there's no shadow. What's going on? So this light has a direct light coming. You can see that by the shadow. So don't be afraid to add a fill light if you need it. Too dark here. A lot of fog. What's going on top there? Oh, that's the bullhead. It's so black and so dark. That's, you know, you gotta pay attention to those things that it's not like so dark and bright that you can tell the difference. I would definitely have gone for more warmer. I think I would have gone for a bit more warmer tone because of the angle of the light and tweak a little bit of the mood and everything i think i would have done that yeah it's a lot to work on again you guys are really <laughs> you guys are really into using the fog a lot i'm not saying you can't but in my course when i teach it you'll notice i don't overdo it it's quite subtle as much as possible right so there, but it's not like in your face kind of there. Uh, where is it? I should make a video of it soon. So, I mean, there's still fog here. You, you, I can't probably see it too much, uh, but it's still there and it's very subtle. And this one is brighter, so there's more obvious. This one has the night. But you can see I still have it in the back, but it's not like in your face kind of stuff. You can still see it here as well. You can, well technically, you can see it. You can definitely see it here. So it's very subtle, all of it. Uh, when I'm doing it, don't 
I don't want to overdo it. Also, notice the difference of color choice, uh, color palette, but also how clear everything is uh, when doing it. Okay. Makes sense, does it? No? Yes? I'm a roasting artist. Uh, did, 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 did. The bull is cool, man. The June scene is cool. I mean, you guys are doing a great job, for sure. The 3D is obviously very cool. Javier, Javier. But definitely you want to push more. Let's 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 play around with it. Should we? Can we? Yeah, let's play a little bit. Which one should we play around with? This one? This one? Let's try this one. Um do, 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 Javier. Oh Javier. Wait, see, I can already see this that this kind of flat. I have this Christmas singing for some reason. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, before we do that, we got a cheat today. Boom, 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 photo filter. There we go. Boom, done. See that? That looks more close to a sunset sunrise using this angle. See that? You're welcome. You're welcome. No problem. I'm happy to help. Um, and then sunset, you know, isn't necessarily bright, but in this image, you guys have to remember. I teach this in the course too. I show like how you do it realistically, and then I show you how to do it a bit creatively. And the purpose is that you're still making an entertainment or something visual. It's, don't be afraid to go off it afterwards, but you have to understand uh, what you're doing and the balance of it first, right? So, so this is against the wall, right? So maybe I'll make this a bit darker, or maybe this one is. Generally, when it's near the window, you might go a bit brighter, right? Makes sense. I'm just going to overdo it because normally, again, this has something to do with exposure. When you're inside the room, it's going to be a little bit brighter outside, but not too much. A little bit, but not too much. I'm exaggerating a little bit for you guys because I just want you guys to understand it. That's all I want. All I want is for you guys to do awesome stuff and then be happy and live happily ever after. That's it. Is that so much to ask for? For you guys to put in the work? It's not. See the difference? It's an exaggeration, but... Okay, boom, 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 boom. Has a different warm feeling to it. It's like, okay, boom, there's a light coming in. Oof, and it comes in. Okay, thank you. That's my opinion. Agree? Disagree? Agree to disagree? Tell me, Javier. Javier, Javier, Javier. Do you agree or not? Tell me. Come on. Come on. Do you agree? See how actually, just with the Photoshop, I also removed the flatness of the fog. Come on, tell me. Tell me, is it good? Are you happy? Oh, look at that. People are sneaking in last minute. You know, I'm already... I was supposed to do this one hour, and you guys are coming that last minute. Sneaky is best. Is. He agrees also. Yes, Javier agreed to. I'm very happy you guys are understanding the value of this, okay? If that was useful, you should head over to courses.lightingbot.com and consider some of the courses and mentorship. You'll be able to learn all of these things, fundamental of lighting, incorrect materials, exposure, EV, how to use volumetric, how to deal with light bidding, how to do post-process grading, 
emissive, how to do fill light and extra lighting, different times of day, how you do it differently for the each day using EV, how to go away from the EV and technical lighting to do artistic lighting, understanding curves, analyzing painting, how it affects your art and lighting, how to train your eye and how to learn from painting. Uh, candle principle, Pecunia effect, game optimization, the danger of fog that a lot of people don't understand and lots more. Again, we have had people go through the course and get work. We have some testimonial you can check. A little bit about myself, my co-author Sander who has been uh, going through the content and improving the content as well. He's a technical lighting artist, so more technical than myself. Uh, and you can check all the content that's being added uh, on a regular basis, fundamental stuff advanced stuff technical stuff and we're still adding new content because when john students join they have an ability to ask for uh, some learning basically you can also upgrade to a month mon mental uh, monthly mentorship you get some extra stuff for discount price and you have me and, and other mentors if you upgrade to five months you can have an opportunity to get some career roadmaps or different offers if you want a very specific offer just you know talk to me and i'll uh, schedule something specific for you as well okay a great opportunity to learn